What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for the uh, Wednesday DK main MLB slate, guys. All right, guys. So today, guys, as you can see, we had a lot of warnings when it comes to weather, so you got to stay on top of that, guys, and be ready uh, to pivot. Uh, remember, MLB has late swap. But um, all right, guys, if you love DFS like me, go ahead and hit the like button for me on this video. Hit the subscription uh, icon so that way you can get the notifications whenever I post videos, guys. And also drop me a comment in the comment section, guys. Let me know what is your favorite sport to play DFS. All righty. And let's get into today's picks, guys. So on the screen, you're going to see my top plays. All right. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a, a tough time um, selecting a picture. But um, I landed on Arietta for my uh, for my SP. All righty, guys. So just uh, looking at his particular uh, spot, uh, he's going to have an advantage because Arizona strikes out uh, versus righties. All righty. And um, 26% to be exact. All right. 26% strikeout percentage or K rate. Uh, they have an 85 WRC plus versus right-handers, guys. So that means that they struggle versus right-handers, guys. So I like Arietta at 8. 0.5K. And again, if you go and look at his games logs, guys, he's done well versus these uh this team in in prior uh meetings. All right. I think he put up like 26 and 28 in, in the two matches that he uh played against them. So all right, let's go ahead and, and give Arietta uh, a shot. Now Kershaw, man, he hadn't been himself this year, guys, but he's on the slate. I think he's like 12K or something ridiculous. Yeah. 14K. Oh, my God. Now, he is playing against Miami guys, which should be a team that he should be able to own. But I don't know if I can get up to that 14,000, y'all. But um, definitely something maybe we can come back to. But anywho, next up, Martinez, this guy right here, man. First baseman for St. Louis, guys. All right, going up against Mets. All right. If you look at this particular matchup, three times they've met. This guy's put up an average of 12 draft king points. He has a couple RBIs. And a home run. His average is a four five five. I like those averages in baseball. That's great. Okay. All right. But I like Jose Martinez. Some numbers on Martinez, guys. All righty. A point six three three Woba versus the pitcher handed it that he's facing. All right. And a point four five three ISO. That's elite. So, all right. So I want me some uh, Martinez, guys. All right. So next up is Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry again is in another good spot. All right. So, Jed Lowry, uh, looking at the uh, history versus this team, he's done well versus Texas, all right? Kind of sucked today, I believe. Oh, no, he put up 12 today. Nice. Cool, cool. All right. It looked like he had a uh, couple of hits, all right? all right? And got walked. Okay. So, no RBIs, but uh, I like this guy here. He has six home runs on the, on the year, all right? He has a three five seven batting average, guys, and he averages around 10 DraftKings, 11 DraftKings points per game. I like Jed Lowry again. He's in another plus matchup, guys. All right. The pitcher that he's facing, guys, he has a .567 Woba versus that pitcher handedness, all right? And he has a 189 ISO. That's almost a uh, great status. So um, I like his chances of uh, getting on base or getting a couple of hits or even maybe even knocking one out of the park there in Texas, okay? All right, next up, another play that I like on today's slate, guys, is Mustakas. All right, Mike Mustakas. All right. So he's in a good spot again. Uh, he's versus uh, Kansas City. So let's go look at that one. All right. So, all right. This team is only projected to hit, score four points at the moment, guys. All right. But they're playing in Kansas City. All right. In Kansas City, if I remember correctly, is a uh, hitter's park. Let's see. Oh, no, actually, that's a pitcher's park. Ooh, but, hey, that doesn't mean that you can't knock one out the park, guys. But I like Moustakis, guys. Look at him versus Chasen, or Chasin. All right, he has a 2.57 Woba versus righties, guys. All right, so, and at his price point, I like I like Moustakis. I like his chances of putting up some good points, guys. He's only uh, 4K. But uh, if you look at Moustakis, he's kind of on a little bit of a, um, a heater. Put up 18 versus Detroit the last time he played. All righty, and but he's getting he's getting a hit in each game for the last four games, guys. So if we go back to the four or five, so he's been he's been hitting the ball, guys. So 
he should put up something. But uh, again, I like his chances of uh, knocking one out. Uh, again, with those numbers versus the, the pitcher handed it as he's facing. All right. Next up is going to be Tony Pham, guys. Again, this guy here, as you know, he's a killer. He can he can put up some crazy amounts of points, as you see right here. He put up 30 DraftKings points versus Cincinnati. All right. So some numbers on Pham, 0.436 Woba and a 0.271 ISO versus the pitcher handed. And so, again, I like me some Tony Pham. All right. So next up on the board is Schwarber. He went off. Last night, all right, as you can see, he put up 28 DraftKings points, had a double dinger, a double dong, all right? So, some numbers for Mr. Schwarber is a .465 Woba versus his pitcher handers and a 313 ISO. That is elite, guys. If this guy puts the bat to the ball, it's going to be gone, all right? So, last but not least is Mr. Mookie Betts, all right? So, this is a play on uh, just a guy that has a nice Woba. All right, a .546 Woba versus the pitcher handedness. Now, his ISO is only 183, but Mookie Betts has some power, guys, and he has stolen base upside. So um, I see this one game that they played recently versus Toronto. He didn't do too well, all right, but I like his chances of bouncing back and coming up out of this out of this slump. So I, I will have me a little bit of Mookie Betts tonight, guys. So I like Mookie Betts. I like a few of the uh, the hitters over there in, uh, in Boston, all right, guys. But that's my top plays for tomorrow, guys. All right, so good luck. Again, drop a comment for me. Let me know what is your favorite DFS sport, guys. All right, and so just a surprise for those who waited to the end. All right, there's this app that I use called Draft Dashboard, guys. So what I like about Draft Dashboard is that it's going to have a lot of information for you right here. So as you can see, the pictures are in a tough spot, most of the pictures tonight, guys. But um, again, you know, if you go and look at the hitters, let's go to the batters. All right, what I like about it is that it shows you the OPS, all right, on base plus slugging on the uh, on each player. So like right here, Travis Shaw. If you hover over his um, his information right here, uh, come on internet, don't trip. There you go. So you can see Travis Shaw is hitting the point nine three two OPS versus righty, and Jason Hamill's giving up a seven one three OPS versus lefty guys. So that's just information that you can use to decide if that's the player that you want to uh, uh, play. And if you hover over this right here, it shows if he's hot or not. All right. So this guy's on a little bit of heater. You see eleven twenty six twenty two. All right, so that's a, that's a hot bat that you may want to ride. but And then we also have this this right here for short and sweet and get you straight to the point. It's called a dash rank, guys. So if you look at this information on the screen, guys, it has pretty much everything all in one spot there. The opponent ranking, the average um, as far as the batting average, guys, uh, the left versus right hand advantage, the season value uh, as far as a dollar per point, and so forth, guys. So I personally love it, guys, but check the description of this video for a link for a seven-day trial for one buck. All right. So that's my gift to you guys. All right. For watching always hitting in. So I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace.